What I will talk today is about um, the business innovation and transformance or uh, um, journey Unilever went through. So my role is I'm the global director of finance and innovation, so looking after all our finance applications at Unilever. And I will talk a lot about finance, but as well I will talk a little bit about uh, Unilever itself and the transformation journey. So uh, Unilever um, has thrived uh, uh, with change over 130 years. And so it's a very old company, if you like, uh, having lots of different brands. But change is, is part of our DNA and it's part as well on, on where we came from and what we currently do. Just to give you some, some type of um, KPIs, so we have around about 388 million sales order line items per year. So um, therefore we need to have systems which are able to progress and process all of this, this information. We have 96 million purchase order lines per year. So the systems we have at Unilever um, need to be scalable and need to be performing. What is as well important to understand is we run SAP wall to wall. So 80% roughly of our uh, day in, day out, end to end processes are SAP enabled. So all of our manufacturing, logistics, sales order taking, all of our finance. A bit of history, so the last, um, I would say, 15 years, uh, we converged from around about 200 ERP systems to four ERP systems. So the volume you have seen in the previous slide are currently processed by four ERP systems worldwide. So we have one for North and South Americas, one for Europe, one for Asia and Africa, and one for India itself. So these systems are huge. Um, they are around about 38 terabytes. Um, just from the sizing point of view. So there are billions of, of records currently in the system. When we started that, um, there was a lot of disbelief in the technology and if this would even work with our size of, of the data, our scale, our processes, etc. And today, um, we, we are quite popular in, in the function. So if we start from the bottom, uh, we have accelerated most of our processes in the ERP space, in the finance area. So we've activated the COPA acceleration, material ledger, um, all the FI operations, product costing, etc. So that's all live now, and we see a much faster processing of data uh, through HANA. So we did that in a sidecar, so we did not move the whole ERP system yet, um, but um, through the sidecar we were able to accelerate these processes. We look into pricing because that's uh, quite a challenge with a number of sales orders and uh, pricing conditions, etc. So that's one of the bottlenecks in the business at the moment uh, in our area. Um, we have forecasting. We currently implement uh, BBC on HANA for our forecasting of raw pack material prices, and um, as well we start in the CRM and TPM space. But if if you think about that, so that's acceleration. So um, um, I think the the picture you may. Uh, want, want to have is if, if you take a beagle, right? So, if you take a beagle, the dog, and, and put a rocket on the beagle, you have a very fast beagle, but you don't have a greyhound, right? So, um, I think at some point you need to um, revisit on um, how you do things. So, um, when we looked into this process, um, well, at, at that point, there wasn't any type of global view or global capability to look into our goods received and must receive on a, on a holistic level. We have these central supply chain companies doing all the goods received and must receive on behalf of all the sourcing units. So you can understand um, that there are hundreds of millions of, of, of euro uh, flying through the system. So having a, a better grip on that as well uh, will enable us to um, optimize our cash flow. So, on the left hand, this is where we, we came from, right? So, um, there were two more or less complex activities which, which a user had to go through, and that's internal and externally operated. Um, one of those reports alone for, for one company called did run 16 hours and just shows the data for a month, right? So, there wasn't even the ambition to see more than a month of data. Um, so, you see, right? So. Uh, you go through the different areas, etc., and then at the end you come to the reconciliation and having that report and understanding where where your your outstanding issue is 
and then correcting it is, is another story. What we have today is, is the right side, um, so that is the real-time cockpit. So that shows us all the reconciliation accounts, um, all the goods received and must received clearing um, in real-time. And that is um, a regional view because we have regional instances. So before we were not able to see that, now it is in real time, and the best thing it is for um, the whole time period. So we've implemented the supply chain company from 2006 to 2009, um, and now we can see all the outstanding goods received, invoice received from 2006 until today. And um, only through that view, we then were able to clean it up and to, to uh, improve our cash flow. So what before took numerous steps, extracting to Excel spreadsheets, pivot tables, background processing of jobs, um, very manual activity is now happening in real time through an HTML5 um, cockpit uh, and um, I mean of course the user is much more happy but as well uh, we see much more um, data, we have much, much better visibility on, on the potential risks and opportunities we have in the cash flow. So when, when we implemented HANA in a sidecar, we were accelerating the two ledger. But um, the acceleration rates were not as big as uh, you, you could think, um, because we, we still write back into the classic database, right? So uh, we read much data much faster, we calculate allocation keys, etc., much faster, but then we currently write millions of records back into the classic database, and this is where the bottleneck is. So having the two letter on HANA um, was great and is great and allowed us to accelerate, but it did not really cut out as many hours in the process as we would have hoped. But then um, we had a discussion with the finance function because um, as well they were not quite satisfied with this process and said, okay, so what would you like to, to have then? And they came up uh, with an idea saying, look, if I could could see all the variances coming from the different areas because different areas are as well accountable for these variances, right? So buying price variances is a different unit which is accountable for that compared to waste we create in the sourcing units. So if we would have an understanding where this variance comes from, then as well we can much easily, uh, or much more easy um, clarify that, clean it up, and as well prevent this from, from happening uh, going forward. But um, SAP at that point in time is, is writing the data into various different tables as well as sitting in different modules. So the material ledger view is not allowing you to have this type of, 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 of uh, insight. So usually what, you, or what, what companies do is then to load all these tables into a BW solution and then analyze the data. Where usually these questions come from is doing month and close. And for us, extracting the data into BW takes around about eight to nine hours. So only by then we would have visibility on it. Then we go through the details. Then we need to correct it potentially, and then we have to re-extract. So that would take us more than a day in order to clean it up. And this is what, what happened in the past. So what we have now done is, because we have all the data in the HANA appliance, uh, we created a virtual view. So we use technology called HANA Life. And we were reconnecting the different tables in order to create this insight. And that was not be done before, and not possible before, because just a huge amount of data. You can see all the different components of the costs. Um, you can drill down through the different variances coming from the different areas. So if it's uh, from sourcing, from production, from subcontracting, and um, you may not see that in the screen, but there are small pluses on the left-hand side, so you can click on that, and you can see it per uh, material or even per component of material, right? So um, if, if you sell uh, whatever X or links type of deodorant, you, you can see a variance being in the perfumery or in, in, in the cap or in, in the can, right? So, uh, and, and then you understand if there's a variance in the cost of the can, is that coming because um, there's a change of the price in the purchase order, or is it because um, in my Deodorant factory the production of cans created a lot of waste? And that view was, was not being able to be done before. Um, Two months in closing, that took around about 28 hours to create a certain insight, 
and now we have that in real time. So that um, is what, what I mean, it's, it's beyond acceleration. We will, we're not able to do that um, without uh, a technology like HANA, but as well, understanding the needs there from the finance function is important that we can unlock these, these uh, requirements. Implementing that report, to be honest, was very quick, right? So I think it took us um, two months uh, in order to create that report. So once we understood what the finance function wanted to have, um, creating that report was was um, was an easy job because, as well, we already had all finance data in our HANA appliance, right? So um, currently, uh, we have a huge uh, business warehouse um, implementation, right? So most of our reports are done through business warehouse. Um, now we have, as well, the HANA Life capability, and we were thinking about, okay, how can we leverage this more? And um, one of our challenges now uh, at Unilever is, as well, the, the move to global organization, global views. And uh, with our four regional systems, it's very difficult to do that. So what we discussed with SAP and um, here Carsten and, and his group was, was a, a huge and is a huge uh, support, was, okay, how can we streamline that? And we went through different options. Uh, one is the central journal option of simplified finance to really see, can we now um, have a, a global type of HANA database uh, in real time in order to go through uh, the different reporting requirements we have in, in, in the finance function. And um, we review area by area, what's the need of real time? Is that an operation report? Is that an analytics report? Does it include external data sources? Um, we as well have uh, different systems for business consolidation, business planning. What would that mean if we can do it in the transactional system itself? So we go through all the various uh, scenarios. And at the end, um, we have identified a number of opportunities we see, uh, which are here color-coded. You might not be able to see that, but it's a new COPA, fraud management, liquidity management, that's a key one, uh, taking a liquidity position every single day, um, a trial balance is a key one, right? So we want to move away from a monthly, uh, monthly closing, so from a monthly closing uh, to a daily closing, or at least getting a view daily on where we are. I mean, we know that for certain areas we, we can't have a daily closing because of accruals or, or um, uh, open items we need to close, but um, to get a good view uh, during the month where we are is, is very important. Um, well, cost center management is easy. Um, we have open liabilities, so uh, controls health reports to really understand where are we, in which country, how much and, and why. Working capital and intercompany is a key one because of our um, organization set up with the central supply chain companies. We have huge uh, type of intercompany postings. That's, that's our current proof of concept, so we, we work on that, so I can't share the results yet. Um, but I think that's a huge opportunity where we even go beyond reshaping on a regional basis on how we do things. Now to revisit how we can uh, do that on a global scale with a global finance function. Um, when we started the discussion with SAP, um, well, we were thinking how long would it take in order to, to create a system like that. So we then engaged um, with the value partnership and value prototyping team. So it's a special service uh, SAP is offering. And they did provide us, and they do provide us, uh, with a system. Uh, and that took a week to create that system for Unilever. Right? So within a week, we had a system on simplified finance, which we connect um, two of our ERP systems into and we now uh, review all these different areas. So it's, it's a very easy way to find out once we, we understand the opportunity and once we have the buy-in from the finance function. Um, I think my main message here is um, hearing all of that. So um, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, maybe I'm now, I started in finance itself, I'm now uh, 20 years uh, in, in, in uh, finance or IT role. It's the first time since then where I see such a big opportunity to reshape um, on, on how to do processes and how to use the data. Um, but it's important um, to, to have a business view on it, right? So I think as an IT function, there's so much you can do. You can accelerate, 
but you cannot um, reshape uh, processes or you cannot reshape on how finance looks into data and is using the data. So it's a huge opportunity. Um, um, it's a lot of effort to make it done. We, we, our our um, experience is the technic technology or the technical hurdles are smaller than the change management necessary and uh, the business buy-in, right? So implementing HANA in all of our four ERP instances took us around about nine months, um, of which the technical implementation we've done together with the RDS team from SAP, that was, I think, um, uh, almost six weeks, right? I believe, right? So out of the nine months, the doing it technically was, was the smallest piece, right? Getting the business case, getting the buy-in, understanding the service model, the impact, etc. that was by far uh, where it took the longest. So the, te the technology, I believe, going forward is getting less and less the, the hurdle. It's more the understanding on what your business wants to do, um, what your function would like to have. So therefore, uh, you need to, to create that strong relationship and maybe having workshops like uh, the one workshop we, we had there uh, um, is a great success to get more insights and jointly create these opportunities. And I think then the finance function itself has got a very uh, significant role in our current business environment as well in the future um, with new business models coming up, new competitors coming up. So um, being able to transform the business quickly uh, and having the IT systems which are flexible enough and scalable enough uh, will be one of the key um, differentiating factors uh, going forward.